This is the Project Gemini Update, your source for all things Project Gemini. Brought to you by Riffical Records. And here's your host, Mark Anthony K. Greetings, friends, and welcome to episode 161 of the Project Gemini Update. So it's been a while since my last update. Uh, that is mainly due to the fact that there's been a lot of things going on in the background, uh, personal things that uh, I just don't think is necessary to talk about here on this uh, stream or this uh, pod video, podcast video. Um, but needless to say, it's been taking up a lot of time that I could have been using to, you know, work on music and stuff like that. Uh, and once it's resolved uh, one way or another, I'm sure that things will move forward as they should. Now, don't be alarmed by that comment. Uh, it has nothing to do with anything disastrous as far as health or anything like that. Uh, I'm fine that way. Uh, it has just more to do with clearing up some financial things. Let's just say that. Uh, in any case, it has nothing to do with the stuff that I'm working with. All the all your orders are fine. They are in the system. I'm just waiting for the CDs to come back from Train Records. Everything is hunky dory when it comes to that. Uh, and we're ready to move forward to the next part of the chapter for in the year 3073 book three. And that is going to be the vinyl release of it. I'm probably going to wait till the beginning of March to start with that just to, you know, clear up a few loose ends and stuff like that and make sure that everything is uh, properly prepared. I know uh, my friend Jason, who's been helping me with all the graphics for this stuff, is working on a slightly altered version of the uh, lyric booklet that's going to come with the vinyl. So there will be a variation between the CD one and the vinyl. So that's kind of cool. I'm looking forward to that. And uh, just little things like that, just to get everything prepared. It's pretty much all done. We have everything else ready. It's just I think he wanted to just do some modifications to that end of it. So the pre-order for the vinyl will be happening sooner than later. Like I said, the beginning of March is my target for when to start that. Now, talking about vinyl, uh, usually when I do my vinyl, and well, all the times that I've done it, I'm sure since Man of Science, Man of Dreams, I've included a download card. And uh, the download card usually uh, has some extra material in it. And they're usually cover songs that I do. And this album is no different. There will be uh, two to three cover songs. I think it's going to be three, but just to be safe, I'll say two, possibly three. Uh, what are they going to be? Uh, well, I'll tell you what bands I'm going to be doing or artists, but I'll leave the song for another time. The bands that I'm going to be covering this time around is there will be a song from Kiss from the debut album. I'm also going to be doing a David Bowie song, uh, a song from the Man Who Stole, Man Who Sold the World <laughs> album. <clears throat> and my third one that I'm working on uh, right now is going to be a Rush cover from the very first Rush album. So there you go. Take that for what it is. I will reveal what the actual songs are at a later date. Uh, yeah, so it looks like uh, the CDs are just a matter of me waiting for them to come to me delivered from Train Records. Everything looks fine with that. And uh, again, thank you all for your uh, pre-orders that you've done or orders of the CD. Uh, I've done it's done really, really well. I mean, compared to other releases, this one has far, you know, sold a lot more from the initial uh, start than all the other ones. So that's that's fantastic. And I thank you all for that support. What else to talk about? Oh, Joe Bailey has a new record coming out uh, next week, Friday, called uh, Devil in the White City, which is a concept record, really cool record. Uh, again, an honor for me to be involved with this guy this gentleman from the UK and his music. Uh, 
he has a first single out right now which he has a video for called Holmes Sweet Holmes not home Holmes like you know Sherlock Holmes kind of thing uh, great song check it out it's on YouTube and the, the single is also available for free on Joe Bailey's Bandcamp site so check it out great song and the album is fantastic I think you guys will really enjoy it uh, he'll be he'll be doing some interviews uh, this week and uh, once those are up I'm sure I'll post them and you guys can check out uh, in further detail what this new record is going to be like uh, what else to talk about what else what else uh, well as for Project Gemini once this album is done as far as you know getting the pre-order for the uh, vinyl I am still working on the picture disc end of things as well that will get going as well later on this year we'll reissue all the records on picture disc in a limited edition form uh, I'm looking forward to that that should be cool uh, again keep in mind people that the vinyl thing is going to be something that will take some time uh, there's been a few podcasts that have been up and around the internet where people have been talking about uh, releasing albums and talking about the lengthy time it takes to get a vinyl uh, from the beginning of the process to the end of it and it's just gotten very long now I mean back when I was doing it for Man of Science and for uh, book one book two it was a you know a couple months wait you know maybe two two it was like two months for through train records now I've been told that it's going to be you know longer like six seven months some places are w wanting to wait a uh, 12 months it is what it is now for for this sort of thing I mean it's become so popular this format uh, you know pressing plants are just overwhelmed with the amount of product they have to go through and because other plants have closed like rainbow and other uh, plants around the world I'm sure have either not able to handle it or uh, there's just not enough there's just not enough plants to do the amount that people need what am I trying to say with all this I'm just I'm trying to say that uh you know don't be discouraged by it uh, the product that train has provided is fantastic all the records that I've done through them sound incredibly good and uh, sometimes things like that are worth waiting for so like I said the beginning of March I will start the pre-order for the vinyl of in the year 3073 book three and uh, yeah I think it looks like that the root beard color vinyl is the winner as far as the color variant that's going to be this time and uh, yeah it's cool I mean I listen to my supporters what they want is what they'll get I know other people voted for other things too but the majority on this seem to have voted for the rupees thing I'll double check that just to make sure that I'm not talking out of my rear end and it was something else like clear or something uh, but yeah uh, I think everything so far on that end is looking good and I'm looking forward to moving forward with that and once this is all done you know it's onward with the next Project Gemini record and it won't be a concept record it'll just be a normal sort of you know record with songs on it not in a concept form that's all so I think that's about it I think I'm caught up with you guys on what's going on I think mainly what I wanted to do here was just kind of you know let you know I haven't dropped off the face of the planet or anything like that everything is cool everything is hunky-dory I know some of you people oh yeah that, that's another thing I should mention during this ordering cycle a lot of you have also ordered other things besides the new record uh, I will get those things sent out some of them I was thinking about maybe waiting till the new record is done and sending them together especially if you've ordered let's say the, the CD copy obviously of book three but you've also ordered like a CD copy of uh, an ordinary day or a brand new day I was thinking of waiting and sending them all together now some of people have ordered the vinyl copies of book one and book two uh, those I will probably send out separately obviously right now because I don't want to send them with a CD I hate doing that when you put like two vinyls in and then you put a CD on top of it the way the postal system is sometimes and the way they throw this shit around it could get damaged it could be bent and I don't want that to happen so I will probably just send that separately for you guys 
You'll have ordered it. Uh, yeah, but other than that, everything's looking good. And uh, thank you so much again for your support. And uh, yeah, more to come. And I will do my best to not have such a long gap between update videos. Okay. So thank you very much, my friends. And I'll talk to you all very soon. Have a great day. Oh, and happy President's Day and happy Family Day to everybody out there. Bye for now.